Are you looking to spruce up that boring stock Glock that you've had kicking around your house for some time? Well, if so, stick around because this week for Tactical Tuesday, we're gonna talk about the Radiant Afterburner and Ramjet. Welcome back to the channel. So as mentioned at the beginning of the video, this week for Tactical Tuesday, we wanted to take some time and talk about a really cool product. One that is sure to get all of our Glock fanboys real jazzed up and something that has been around on the market for a few months now and has really proven to be an effective and very worthwhile addition to any Glock 19 sized handgun. And that is the Radian Afterburner and Ramjet. But before we dive into today's topic, we wanted to remind you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is a huge help when you do. I know you probably get sick of hearing YouTubers ask for it and to say it, but it really does help kind of squash those YouTube algorithms that are trying to, for lack of a better term, sensor firearm content. So the more you like, comment, subscribe to these types of channels, the more you're gonna see that in your feed, as well as it does indirectly tell YouTube that this is worthwhile information that you wanna see. So guys, give us a like if you think we're worth it. Subscribe to the channel and we're happy to have you around. So guys, the Radian Ramjet and Afterburner combo kit is specifically designed to work in the Glock 19, 19X, and the Glock 45. And what it does is it will replace your stock Glock barrel with the Radian barrel and micro compensator. And the whole purpose behind this combo set here is that it is designed to greatly reduce the felt recoil when firing a Glock handgun. And by Radian's own account and their numbers, they're claiming a 44% reduction in the felt recoil when using 115 grain ball ammunition which is a huge claim. Okay, I can't use this. I'll swap to yours. Oh. I'm still filming. Honestly, when we first got these and when a couple of us, you know, were looking at them here in the shop, we were extremely skeptical of that claim. But a couple of the guys went ahead and bought these, stuck them in their very own handguns. Uh, you know, they weren't sponsored by Radian or anything along those lines, but they were very curious because they've had good results from Radian's other products. So they wanted to see if that claim was true. And, you know, kind of giving you a little sneak peek into later on in the video, those guys were very, very impressed. So much so that because of their opinions of the improved functionality of their stock Glock handguns, that many of the other guys in the shop who also owned similar Glocks went ahead and jumped on board and ended up picking up these kits. And you can kind of tell that these do work based off the fact that they are constantly sold out. These are a pretty tough, you know, kind of combo set to get a hold of, because of the popularity and the fact that they do perform very well. Now, the way that it reduces that felt recoil is by having two large ports in the front of both the barrel and the compensator that direct the gases from the round up and away from the firearm, thus forcing the front end of the firearm to kind of dip while shooting the gun. And what that does for you is it helps reduce the kind of upward felt recoil and it allows the, the firearm to really track more in a forward and rear uh, action. Meaning it's a lot easier to get quicker follow-up shots because you're not waiting for your optics or your sights to dip back down after firing the round, allowing you to maintain better sight picture and really follow your sights and make those quicker, more efficient follow-up shots. And much like all the products from Radian, 
The ramjet and afterburner are built with high quality materials to ensure quality and longevity of the products. The afterburner is made from hardened 17-4 stainless steel and has a black DLC coating, while the ramjet barrel is made from hardened 416R stainless steel and is also DLC coated for the best durability. Another great thing to keep in mind when looking into the ramjet and afterburner combo set is that since the barrel doesn't have any threads cut into it in order to keep the afterburner compensator mounted to the, the barrel itself, it results in this combo being 50 stay legal, which is awesome news for those of you who live kind of uh, behind enemy lines and in a state that likes to restrict your rights. And speaking of a threadless design, the way that the afterburner compensator mounts to the ramjet barrel, um, unlike using you know, the traditional cut threads that you would find on many other compensators that mount to handguns, is that it uses a tapered set screw to hold the compensator in place. And you'll kind of notice, and I'll put some photographs in here, the barrel is cut almost like a triangle. And because of that cut, it prevents the afterburner from rotating. So with the set screw, and held in place, that afterburner stays perfectly locked into place, which is, again, great news because if you've ever had a compensator just twisted onto a threaded barrel, it's pretty common that guys will have those start to walk off or start to kind of rotate during you know heavy durations of fire, resulting in the shooter needing to apply something like thread locker, which can be a real pain in the butt when you're trying to disassemble the gun and clean it uh, because you either have to break that thread locker or you know kind of go through more strenuous means to get that compensator off the gun. So because of Radian's really simple thought out design, you don't have to worry about any of that. And you know, besides, like I mentioned before, the bonus factor being that it is 50 state legal, it really opens up kind of the playing field to anyone interested in getting this combo kit to mount to their Glock. Another thing to keep in mind when using the combo set is that obviously having the afterburner mounted to the front of your gun makes the gun longer. But because Radian, you know, is intelligent and thought this through, the overall length that this gun is now with the combo set on it is the same length as a Glock 17. And since the, as you'll notice, since the compensator is no wider than the standard Glock, that means that this gun will now fit into any Glock 17 holster. That's awesome news because as many of you know, trying to find a holster to accommodate aftermarket products can sometimes be pretty difficult depending on you know the particular products that you're throwing on the gun having you know a compensator that's the same size as the slide and you know the frame of the gun makes it very easy when you're out there holster shopping so kudos to radian for kind of thinking that one through another accessory that radian offers for the glock is the compressor the compressor is a replacement guide rod and spring assembly with the purpose behind it being that it allows you to swap between a 13 pound 15 pound and 18 pound spring so that you can truly tune the Glock to run more efficiently with the various loads of nine millimeter that you may want to run. Unlike other similar products, this one does not require a set screw to hold the spring in place. Instead, Radian went ahead and chose to use a dovetail pin to retain the spring. And since it isn't relying on a screw, there is less of a chance of anything falling apart or you having to rely on any kind of Loctite or thread locker to keep the assembly held together. So as mentioned earlier in the video, kind of one of the reasons that we waited a little bit of time to make this video on this product is we wanted to make sure that this wasn't, you know, kind of a gimmick. We wanted to make sure that it actually performed well and put some actual time behind the product. And as I mentioned before, a couple of the guys here in the shop ended up buying these, you know, with their own money, not sponsored by anybody, and have since put a lot of rounds through it. And one of those guys is Alex, and I'm gonna have him come on over here. We'll talk about that. How's it going, Alex? So, so Alex here is works in our shipping department, and he does a lot of shooting. And correct me if I'm wrong, you've been using this guy for a number of months now, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, kind of, what is your thoughts on the Radian, the Ramjet, and Afterburner? So, so you know me, like I've been shooting competitively for three, four years now. I uh, I initially got the Ramjet uh, about eight months ago, and I've put. 3,000 rounds through it, I've got about five on this Glock. I got it because one of our buddies had it and uh, we had the exact same setup, everything was the same, except for the Ramjet. So I had been curious, you know, on the on the box or whatever, it says 44% recoil reduction. And yeah. That sounds like a lot, right? Like that, yeah, that sounds, sounds significant, right? So 
we were sitting there shooting side by side. I was like, all right, let me, let, let me try that. Boom, first round, it was like, hold on. Boom. No, wait, give me mine back. Ba, ba. Whoa. So the difference was immediately like, oh, that is, that is smooth. Like the dot tracks easy and fast. Like it doesn't slow the slide down at all. Um, but, but man, it's smooth. It, it made it significantly less uh, with the recoil impulse. And so, yeah, after that, I pretty much the next week came out and got one. That's awesome. Would you recommend this to somebody else? Like if, Absolutely. if a buddy came to you and mm -hmm. if I wanted one, mm -hmm. would you? Yeah. Yeah. So, so my recommendation typically with compensators is learn your gun first, right? Because what you don't want to do is overcompensate for bad habits, right? You don't want to get the best trigger you can, get the most aggressive compensator you can, and then go out and learn how to shoot only that, right? Because then your fundamentals may be lacking. Right, so go learn your gun, put a couple hundred rounds through it, figure out where the trigger breaks, what the, what the dot or the iron sights do when it recoils, figure out what that impulse is like. And then when you feel like you're ready to, you know, you're, you're solid on there, but you kind of want that next level, mm -hmm. absolutely, I'd recommend a compensator. And specifically, this is, this is my favorite one I've tried. That's one. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Where Alex actually has real world experience with this product, I've shot a couple rounds through it, but I haven't actually had a chance to really put like extensive time behind the product. I wanted to have someone's you know firsthand account, and thank you for you know taking some time to do that today, man. Absolutely, awesome. Now, guys, you know as we kind of mentioned earlier, this is an awesome product. If you're looking to improve the performance of your Glock and really trying to take it to the next level, this is a great way to do so. Regardless of the state you live in, you know, as I mentioned before, it is legal everywhere because of the lack of the threaded barrels. So guys, take advantage of that. You know, support good companies who are you know, producing well thought out products like this. I mean, for me, just the fact that I don't have to go through an extensive search to find a good holster to work with this thing is awesome. So. If you have any questions or you know kind of comments, concerns, worries, anything, hit us up. Don't hesitate to either you know call the shop, stop by, talk to us in person, you know, DM us on one of our social media channels. We're very active. Continue to subscribe to those different channels. It does really help us continue to bring you, you know, awesome content. We're not the only ones who need sacrifices to the algorithm, guys. That's right. And as a quick reminder, guys, we are still doing the Prodigy giveaway that's going to go until September 5th. So sweet. if you're looking into, you know, getting into kind of competitive shooting or you just want to get your hands on a cool, you know, double stack 1911, this is the way to do it. Head over to our website for more information on that. Uh, again, you do have to be 21 to enter that contest, but otherwise it's pretty much free to anybody who wants to get on there and you know start participating. That will go until September 5th. So guys, take advantage of that while you can. So guys, thanks again for watching today's Tactical Tuesday. It means a lot to us that you stuck around to the end of the video and that you hopefully enjoyed it. And until next week, God bless you.